Hello guys, welcome to this new video. In this video, we're going to be unboxing the Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus 5G. Oh, that's a mouthful. As you can see here, you can tell we have the cosmic gray color from the S20 writing on the box. This is the 12 gigs, 128 gigs version. And even more importantly, this is the Snapdragon 865 model, not that Exynos. No need to talk too much about the specifications. Let me just show you so we can get into this box. Let's take a look around. In front here, obviously, we have that S20 right in there with the cosmic gray color showing that we have the cosmic gray version in here. And as you can see, there we have the S20 Plus 5G written there. On the right side of the box, we have nothing. On the left side, we have Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus 5G written. And behind the box, it basically just shows us the packaging contents, which is the S20 phone. Well, obviously, I mean, if it's not in there, it's going to be weird. The S20 phone, the wall charger, the stereo headset, quick start guide, terms and condition. And at the bottom of the box, you can see the SM986U1 Snapdragon version. Now let's get into this box. Firstly, we are greeted with the device itself. We'll just take that out of the way for the meantime. And here you can see the wall charger. It says super fast charging. In here, I'm guessing we have the cable for the charger. Type C to Type C. Sound by AKG here. Only suggest one thing, and that's the earbuds which is a type c connector very nice and also you get extra tips and hiding under the lid of the box here we have there the sim ejector tool and i'm guessing some literature in here so this is basically telling you that if you remove the screen protector on the screen of the device the new screen protector may not work for all the touch screen features which i'm pretty sure they're talking about that ultrasonic in display fingerprint sensor so now that we have nothing else to play with that isn't the device itself let's take a look at the device it looks really nice i would have preferred the cosmic black color though however i got this particular device for a really really sweet deal i paid less than a thousand bucks for this however this retails for around one thousand two hundred dollars this thing is really shiny even more shiny than i thought the bad news is that it's going to pick up a lot of fingerprints but the good news is that you don't need a mirror <laughs> At the bottom of the device, we have the speaker grill, the Type-C port, a microphone and two antenna lines running through there. On the right side of the phone, you can see the volume rocker, the power button which is correctly placed this year. Last year's model, the S10 Plus was placed somewhere here, it was way too high. Nice to see it come back to its right position. You can see that ever so slight camera bump there. The left side of the phone is clean with nothing besides the antenna line there. I really like that. We can also notice that the screen has that little curve there. However, it's flatter this year, which I really like compared to the S10 Plus from last year. At the top of the device, we have a microphone and we have that SIM tray. This device also allows for micro SD card expansion, which means you can add an extra one terabyte of storage to your device. Now it gets more interesting at the back, obviously with that camera setup there. We have the standard lens, we have the ultra wide telephoto lens, and of course the depth sensor with well the flash up there. Now this power and device hopefully has some juice. So guys, now I'm done setting up the device. The first thing I can tell you free of charge is that that display is extremely, extremely gorgeous. Using the display, I can tell that it's running at 60 Hz. And we really look at all that Samsung glow. Wow. Anyways, I'll just go into the settings and bump that up to 120Hz, so display, motion, smoothness, and 120Hz, some demonstration here, apply. And right away, I can just tell a difference, like it is already a lot smoother. This is just a joy. This is madness. Everything is like butter. And up there we have that 10 megapixel hole punch selfie camera, which can shoot 4K in 60 frames per second by the way. And just makes the phone look that much more premium, especially with the bezel-less display compared to something like this. Wow. Now let's test the ultrasonic in display fingerprint sensor. Muscle memory will help you learn where it is over time. It's fast but it is nowhere near how fast my oneplus 7 pro was however this is more secure since you know it's taking actual 3d scans of your 
fingerprint. So my first impression of the device, especially design, I think they made it better by making that display flatter, not as curved as last year. Also this beautiful, beautiful display being 120 hertz, I mean, ridiculous. This is the best display experience I've had on a smartphone so far. I'm glad I actually picked this one over the S20 Ultra. That's just too expensive, $1,500. I feel like this is more bang for buck and um, I'm really looking forward to using this device and you know bringing more content on this device to you guys. So anyways guys that's been the video. I hope you enjoyed it one way or the other. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up. If you love my videos and want to see more content from me please subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.